Hey guys, so today I am doing a Q&A as promised and I have a couple questions from Instagram and some questions from my last video I believe and then some other questions that have been asked since I told you about doing the Q&A. So I'm gonna try and rapid fire through these as fast as I can and we'll get right into it. First question comes from Pam's World 5492. My question is, have you been to the States? And if so, where and did you like it and the difference between the US and Canada? If not, where would you like to visit? First off, I have been to the US once. I was a teenager and we went to Darien Lake Six Flags with my mom, dad, and my brother. And we stayed a couple nights, I believe. Uh, camping. So yeah, we went there and that's the only place I've actually ever been. So again, I was younger. I don't really remember too, too much. I remember Linkin Park was playing there and just like obviously some of the street signs were different. So I haven't been to the U.S. too much. There are so many different places I would love to visit in the U.S. My major one would be Yosemite. I think that is just absolutely incredible there. And I'm hoping to visit some places in the US, hopefully in the upcoming years. All right, the next question comes from Ella Louise 3941. And this says, do you and your parents take turns to pay for groceries because you all live together? So no, when we lived at mom and dad's house, we paid for all of the groceries for everybody. And that was kind of our contribution to the household because there was, you know, multiple families, including Matthew and Sophia at the time. So that's how we did things there. However, oops. however, when they moved in here, Kyle and I like to eat a lot of different things. So I told mom and dad, you buy your food because they have their own fridge here and we'll buy our own food here. All right, from Instagram, our Theo Jordan. So how was your camping trip and what did you do? I have a whole series of vlogs. I'll link them down below for you to watch. It rained a day or so. We went and tried beaver tails for the first time. We went to some caves and of course we visited the most important part of that whole trip the beach. So you'll have to go check that out and why it's significant. Kayla Forner asks, how is it like having your parents living with you, Tiffany? Basically, we've lived together for the last four or five years. So it's really no different than what we've known. You guys know that we lived at their house while we were building and now they just live with us. So it's really no different. Theodore at Sirico? I can't see the whole thing, so sorry if I'm butchering that, but do you prefer coffee or tea? If so, what is your favorite coffee? So I'm actually an iced coffee drinker. I like to have caramel macchiato creamer in it, and I'm not really a tea drinker, but I love iced tea. C Kenny.504 asks, are you going to do a house tour? I have always planned on doing a house tour. However, the house isn't complete. And I feel like mom and dad have their room and the spare room as well. And I want things set up like the way I want them for the finale of the house tour. I feel like that'll be like the finishing video of the house videos. So we're not quite there yet. And also same with our master bedroom, like it's not completely decorated or anything like that. In the future, I'm hoping so. And of course, my cousin Tammy asks, who is your favorite cousin? And I have lots of favorite cousins. <laughs> All right, moving on to some more questions from YouTube. Liz Hacker 4186 asks, can you talk more about your grief journey with Michaela? And I reply back anything specific you would like to know. And she said, where you are right now in your grief journey, do you feel like you have forgotten what life was like with her? Do you notice if buildings are accessible still? So first question, where am I at with my grief journey? I feel like I had a fairly brief post grief journey, if that makes sense. After Michaela died, I feel like my grieving process was very short. And I think that has to do with grieving her loss over the 10 years that she was alive. That is something that we had to deal with and understand and accept throughout her whole life. So I feel like after she passed, the grieving process was very short and I mainly just wanted to get on with my life and 
become me again, if that makes sense. Although due to COVID, I wasn't able to quite move on so quickly. Do you feel like you have forgotten what life was like with her? Absolutely not. My entire adulthood has been dedicated to looking after Michaela and it's actually hard to believe that Michaela's almost been gone four years and she was only on this earth for 10. So she's almost been gone half the amount of time that she was alive. Being Michaela's mom was such a huge part of who I am and who I've become because of her that I don't think I could ever forget what life was like with Michaela. And do you notice if buildings are accessible still? Absolutely. It is something that I think will just be in the back of my mind always, whether it's a ramp or a push button to open a door or going by somebody in a wheelchair in a grocery store. All those things touch and I notice. All right, where was I? I got a phone call, so. JJ or JJ988 asks, are you doing anything for Bum's birthday? So Bum's birthday is on November 27th and she would have been 14 years old this year, which is absolutely insane. And I don't think we're actually doing anything. I believe Kyle works, Damien will be at school and I actually have a dentist appointment in the town that she is buried. So I'm gonna go visit her on her actual birthday. Kyle has a dentist appointment the next day on his day off. So he'll go visit her probably then. And yeah, so I don't think we're doing much. Of course, we'll say happy birthday and stuff like that to her. T-J-F-A-L-U-S-I-6204 ask what is left to finish off on your home. We still have our pantry to do as well as a little bit of painting actually in our stairwell and the stairs to be finished and our cupboard doors and drawers. So all of that hopefully we will be making this winter. Judy Styles 4611 asks, any plans for another baby? How do you keep yourself entertained during the winter? What is your favorite color? Okay, simple question first, what is my favorite color? It's always been purple. A couple years it was teal, but I think like deep down my favorite color is purple. Although I love wearing like sage or olive green. So those are two different things. How do you keep yourself entertained for the winter? Literally the past like five winters, we've been super busy with the house stuff and this winter we probably will be as well. But we love tobogganing. We try and take the kids tobogganing and stuff. And we love going on walks and hikes and stuff like that, even in the snow. So we're always doing something. And this question was asked a ton. Any plans for another baby? At this point, I really don't know. I have always said I wanted two more. I still feel like I want at least one more. Two would be great. I don't know if my body can handle that. I am getting older. However, Kyle does not want any more. So we are kind of at a fork in the road of to what is gonna happen from here. I'm kind of just taking day by day and Kyle is just kind of really dead set on not having any. I have thought of it as Damien is old enough, he's self-sufficient and things are just moving smoothly right now. But I, in my heart, I would like to have another baby, at least one more. Luna Kin asked, she left a long comment, so thank you for that comment. My question for you is, how is Damien enjoying school? And Damien honestly loves school. He loves being with his friends. He's always excited to go. He has the odd, like, bad day, but for the most part, he loves school. And it's funny, I was actually talking to his EA teacher that has had him a couple years, and they she actually said that like he's their success story. So he came in like this cra crazy um, busy kid and now he just loves his routine and is so good with everybody and he's so compassionate to other children and yeah. So Pam's World asked in this video as well the same questions about the US, but what's your favorite meal to cook and the fav your favorite thing to eat? What makes you happiest in life? Okay, so what is my favorite meal to cook? I'm like loving to cook no matter what it is. I usually enjoy cooking something new and different. You know, it's it's nice to be in a routine and know what a recipe off by heart. I do enjoy cooking new things. 
Um, so I wouldn't necessarily say like a specific meal. My favorite meal though that comes to mind always is just Greek food like souvlaki, tzatziki, rice, and Greek salad. It just is so like light and fresh and uh, rice and tzatziki I would say are my favorite foods. So that would be my favorite meal. Not to say that I don't love many, many other meals. And what makes you happiest in life? That is a really like deep question and I feel like I'm still learning that after losing Michaela. Obviously, you know, my children are number one, but mostly just being content with what I have in life and not always needing more. So whether that's money or job or um, a house or whatever it is, I've really learned that materialistic things are not something I strive for really and yeah so what ha makes me happiest in life I would say just family love surrounding myself with people that I enjoy being with and first and foremost my children Angela Olive Stone 3719 asks great footage my question is what exactly was the purpose of your friend Justin doing what he did and why so I'm assuming she's talking about the video that I put together for him and it's mainly just for social medias a fun little video to show what his company has been up to and the other videos that we do talk about is more of a um, sales type video that hopefully I can share one day with you guys. I've kind of already answered this daydreamer 6030 asks when will you be continuing the work on your home can't wait to see the videos so hopefully this winter we will get back into that we really really just wanted to enjoy this summer that just passed okay jennifer board 7566 love your videos tiffany for the q a are you planning to have another baby do you think you'll ever come to australia perth western australia i would love to visit anywhere in the world australia definitely being on that list i don't know or foresee myself being able to go to australia anytime soon but maybe hopefully one day. Rockin' Miss Beth asks, are you moving? No, we are not. And that's probably your guess as to why we're cleaning the house up and stuff. But no, that's not the reason we're not moving. Stephanie Ann 622 also asks, I was just wondering how you're doing with your grief over losing Michaela. Again, I feel like I did the majority of my grieving process just shortly after her death. And I'm doing quite well, actually. I'm starting to get into my groove, trying to focus as much as I can on me. I'm gonna totally butcher this. A Rel Anotinia, eighteen eighty nine. Does your mom and dad leave you with live with you in the same house? Yes, they do. They moved in here in January. Ashley Troll. I don't know if this is the type of question you're looking for. Do you have any tips on? where to rent a accessible wheelchair trailer in Ontario. Thank you for the videos. Um, I don't. We've just always owned our own and we kind of just made it work. We carried Michaela up and down the stairs. So I don't know of any places. I'm sure maybe you could search on Google accessible trailers in your area maybe. I eat candy. Are you moving or planning to sell? Have your parents found a home? I know in the past, you talked about moving from the area once your parents did. So are we moving? No, there are no plans as of yet to move. And are we planning on selling maybe in the future? Like I said, if mom and dad do leave to a farther place, then maybe. And have they found a home? They are not currently looking for a home. They are looking for a piece of property. And they did look all summer long hoping to find the right one, but they have not found one just yet. Caitlin Marie Fraz, is Kyle using his trekking with daddy channel? Yes and no. I was supposed to post a video of them doing their rock crushing stuff, him and Damien, and I just didn't get around to it yet. I've been quite busy with a lot of the stuff for Justin, so I just haven't gotten to that yet. So hopefully I will get that video up soon. EVWho62 asks, are you planning something public to mark Michaela's birthday? 
new merch or anything you're able to share. No, I did not have any kind of way to mark her birthday this year. I have done birthday merch in the past. If you guys do want the birthday merch, to come back let me know and i can see if i can make it available to you guys for like a week only or something like that just let me know in the comments all right so that is going to be it i think for this q a video it was kind of a little bit of a random video trying to tie everything together but i hope that answers your questions if you do have any more questions leave them in the comments below on this video and hopefully i can answer them either in the comments or in another video so if you like this video Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys.